For more on the significance of this win, I'm joined by Mark Weisbrot. He is the co-director of the Center for Economic and Policy Research. You know, elections are always about something. Sometimes they're about the candidate who's running. Sometimes they're about the predecessor. And sometimes it's about the electorate itself. Uh, what was this election about? Well, there are a lot of issues. I, I think, uh, you know, he was able to, Macri was able to put himself forward as the candidate of change, you know, cambiemos, uh, let's change. That was the name of his party, but it wasn't clear. He didn't really say how he was going to fix the economy, for example. And so there was a lot of very skilled marketing used in kind of presenting him as not so different and not so right-wing as he really is. Cioli would have been a continuation in many respects. Uh, was this a repudiation, in a sense? Well, it's hard to say because, you know, Cioli didn't really uh, do a, uh, much of a job defending the record of the, the Kirchners for, who were there for 12 years. And, you know, during those 12 years, poverty was reduced by 70 percent, extreme poverty by 80 percent. You had about 78 percent growth. Those poverty figures are, you know, independent numbers, not based on the government's estimate of inflation. And uh, the growth numbers are from the IMF. So these are, because uh, there was a lot of controversy over the statistical agency, but, you know, independent estimates showed that there was enormous increase in living standards a huge reduction in unemployment. So it was a record that he could have defended, and he, he didn't really do it, I think. So uh, let's talk about the economy. What does he need to do to address that issue? Well, he talks, he keeps talking about in the campaign, you know, what a marvelous future we're going to have. He said that several times. And it's not going to be that marvelous if he even tries to tackle uh, the problems. You know, first of all, uh, he says he's going to reduce the budget deficit. He says he's going to bring down inflation. He says he's going to cut taxes mostly for upper income groups and uh, you know and he's going to fix uh, the exchange rate uh, problems uh, presumably unify the exchange rate he's going to pay off the vulture funds so they can borrow in international markets if he does any you know two or three of those things there's going to be a cost short term cost to that and he's the kind of person i think that is going to make the people who didn't vote for him uh, which are mostly poor and working people they're going to pay that cost how does he uh, relate with his neighbors? I mean, how do you see him as, as a, a person there within the region fitting in? Well, that's the most immediate problem, I think. You know, he's already said, uh, first of all, that he wants to suspend. He, it was the first thing he said after he was elected. I want to get, uh, I want Venezuela to be suspended from the trading bloc, Mercosur. Now, no president in South America would say that, not even the right wing uh, presidents. And in fact, all of the left of center governments, all, all the governments have never done anything like that to someone who is a major uh, trading partner and neighbor. And so this is really going to be seen as outrageous by the other presidents. He wants to have good relations with Brazil. Brazil's not going to like this at all. He's doing this for the United States. There's no reason he would say that. There's no constituency in Argentina. Nobody who voted for him wants him to do that. He's doing that because the United States wants him to do that. And I tell you, he also said that he's going to, according to the Financial Times report today, uh, he's going to cancel the $15 billion nuclear deal with China. Now, China has done a lot uh, for Argentina in recent years. That seems to me to be also something that maybe he's doing uh, on behalf of the United States. China just had an $11 billion swap arrangement with them, which really helped them, uh, Argentina, with its reserves. So what is he going to do with relations with them? Who knows? But he's really not off to a very good start if he wants to have good relations with the countries that Argentina's had good relations all along. This may be what the United States uh, government wants him to do because the United States has been trying to get rid of all of the left governments in the region for the last 15 years, and they're very happy about this government. But I doubt they're going to come up with the money that he's going to lose from other sources. So from, from a domestic, I mean, from a regional aspect, uh, you don't think he's off to a good start? Obviously not off to a good start with China. How about the rest of the international actors, do you think? Well, I think, again, you know, if you look at these, uh, there were WikiLeaks cables that actually uh, have his meeting with the U.S. Embassy that WikiLeaks uh, disclosed. It was confidential, but uh, we can see them now on the web. And in these conversations with the U.S. Ambassador and the U.S. Assistant Secretary uh, for the Western Hemisphere, S Secretary of State. Uh, he said very clearly, he, he was asking the U.S. government to help him to intervene against the government of Argentina, something that, you know, you can imagine if some U.S. presidential candidate did that with Putin or somebody, they would, nobody would trust them. So 
This is the kind of thing I think that you see already in his pronouncements around foreign policy. He's very close to the United States. The United States government, as I said, doesn't want any of these left governments. They see this as the first major inroad. They're hoping to get rid of, uh, you know, Brazil uh, government, the Venezuelan government. And then, you know, from their point of view, they want to own Latin America again like they did in the 20th century. Mm, interesting. And, of course, you'll, you'll be keeping your eye on the Venezuelan election, which is next month, not too... December yeah, 6th, yeah. A few, few weeks from now. Mark, always a pleasure having you on the broadcast. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.